O world honored one, with a mind that is single, I take refuge in the Tathagata of unhindered light, filling the ten quarters, and aspire to be born in the land of peace and happiness. Relying on the sutras which manifest the true and real virtues, I compose a summary in the form of a gatha of aspiration that accords with the Buddha's teaching. Contemplating that world in light of its features, I see that it transcends the three worlds. It is infinite, like space, vast and boundless. The great compassion of true enlightenment is born from supramundane roots of good. That is supramundane roots of good. It is filled all over with pure light, like a mirror or the sun and the moon. It is composed of all kinds of precious treasures and is adorned with wondrous ornaments. The pure light, blazing fiercely, shines brilliantly all over the world. The jewel ornaments are soft and pliant, like grasses bending to the right and left. The pleasant sensation produced by touching them surpasses that when one touches Kachalindika grass. Myriad varieties of jeweled flowers are scattered over the ponds, streams, and fountains. The palaces and pavilions command a view of the worlds of the ten quarters without obstruction. Various kinds of trees radiate different colors. Nets, interwoven with countless treasures, are spread across the sky. All kinds of bells ring out, producing the sound of the wondrous dharma. Adorned with flowers and robes, raining down from above, the land is filled with numerous kinds of fragrance. The Buddha's wisdom is bright and pure like the sun, dispersing the darkness of ignorance in the world. Its pure sound deeply enlightens beings far and wide. Subtle and wondrous, it is heard throughout the ten quarters. Amida, the perfectly enlightened, who is its Dharma king, fully sustains it. The beings of this Tathagata's pure lotus are born transformed from the lotus of perfect enlightenment. Enjoying the taste of the Buddha Dharma, they partake of meditation and samadhi as their food. Forever free from physical and mental afflictions, they constantly enjoy pleasure without interruption. In the world of good of the Mahayana, all beings are equal, and not even the words of disparagement exist nor is anyone born there disabled, or one having the seeds of two vehicles. All that sentient beings desire are perfectly fulfilled in that land. For this reason I aspire to be born in the Buddha land of Amida.